And we're back with some more Rimworld. And Lunk has awakened. And he hungers. He hungers for healer mech serum that would replace his jaw. And... Oof. Yes. Now they've got their chompers back. Excellent. For the first time in a long time, not everyone's going to hate them. It was making them ugly because they were disfigured. Now the only person who hates them is Stalker. Well, that was kind of to be expected. Stalker hates everyone. All right. Finally, that took way, way, way too long. Also, we've had... Oh, I should probably put out that fire. As I was saying, we've been calling in exotic trades good people. And it's actually kind of nice. I'll wait till the second one arrives. We've actually got a second one coming in here from some other crowd, but I don't think both of them can be on the map at the same time. They might actually be hostile towards each other, but who cares? Uh, we'll have the second crowd in in no time. Today, the big deal is cataphract armor. We picked up the last cataphract tech print on, in the last episode out on the world map. Where was it? Uh, over here. We got it from the Empire, which means we can now research it. I want to get cataphract helmets for everyone. And once everyone's got a cataphract helmet, well, except for Stalker, of course, we'll get everyone some cataphract armor. We want to make sure everyone is well protected. And then the kids, we want to age them up three more years to get them up to 13, get their final levels, and then we can do the final round of children. So we should hopefully be able to do that a little bit faster. I mean, with five extra people to stand on the line and start shooting, we should be able to shoot through the attacks just that little bit quicker. After the last trade goods person left, there's a new one. Excellent. Hey, we'll... Get Smokey out there in a minute to... What the hell just happened? Lynx Revenge? Uh, I think a Lynx just tried to eat one of them. Well, the Lynx isn't going to be in the fridge. Hey, Smokey, go out there and trade with them before they do something stupid like leave the tile. And this is the interesting bit that's been changed, or that I've just noticed. You can now trade the genes that are in your gene bank without actually having them kicked out of your gene bank. You can cha uh, trade them directly. Uh, let's see what they've got here. Kill Thirsty and Unstoppable. Uh, we already have Unstoppable. I don't... Ooh, kill Thirsty? Yeah, that's a metabolic efficiency gain of four, but... Uh, wow, they become irritated if they go for too long without killing someone in close combat. That is... Um, I'm almost tempted. In the end, I decided Kill Thirsty was not really something we needed in our gene bank. Uh, some rare thrombos showed up. They have uh, been processed and are currently being dragged to our fridge at some point. Yeah, the little bots are out grabbing them. Uh, at the same time, we now have a fair decent chunk of Plasteel, and Stalker's on the way home with a bunch more. Uh, I accidentally forgot to put these on fight mode, though, so let's hope Stalker gets home pretty soon. I'd prefer to have our Scythers up and running in case any attacks come in. To help uh, defend ourselves in case we get any more of those close-range attacks, we've, uh, we've been using some moisture pumps to strategically allow us to place down some granite blocks. Well, granite walls, specifically to stop the enemies passing through here. Uh, at the same time, this narrows it down to one choke point to have to go through. I would also like to use heavier doors, so we're going to use another moisture pump to turn that tile. Now, that tile used to be... Scissors. That tile used to be shallow water, but now it will no longer be shallow water. At that point, we can just get rid of it. It's the annoying part about this, or the expensive part, is what we have to do here is make a moisture pump, and then we could leave it there for days to expand its radius, or we could just build ourselves another moisture pump. The problem is the cost, of course. Now, if we go to here, we can remove the bridge from underneath it because it's no longer water under there. What's under there is gravel. That's it. And done. As you can see, stony soil. Once that's deleted, we replace it with a door, then we repeat the process there, and then we have a double door area and a nice choke point where any melee attacks can get caught back and, uh, well, riddled full of bullets by us. One more quick moisture pump, and we can remove that soil there, and we'll have our double doors. At the same time, I'm realizing when I was under miscellaneous, we haven't been really using, where is it, fire foam poppers. I should put a few in strategic locations, like right there, to make sure that place stays, you know, fire free. Uh, put a couple there, a couple there. That should stop our crop area from getting incinerated. At the same time, I think one there would be beneficial. Actually, one there, uh, one there. Gene bank, of course, and the vamps would probably prefer not to burn in a fire while they're sleeping. I mean, probably. Ah, if it isn't Randy's first gift of the day. Several groups of pirates from the night vampires. Sappers, tunnel around your defenses. Uh, yep, we've actually hit raid cap. Force maximum 10,000 points. Perfect, let's jump to location. Uh, actually, it says there's multiple ones. Oop, let me make sure the zones are set. Mechs, people, children, all on their way back inside. And what do we got? Okay, so we got one group over at this corner in the top left, and we got one in the top right. They don't look like huge. It's 21. Let's see what we're dealing with. 
Okay, well, let's see a triple rocket launcher there. I don't like to look at that. Oh, Doomsday. Two triple rockets. Okay, not the best. What do we got over here? We have one minigun. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty weak sauce, to be honest. Oh, low shields as well. Oh, yeah, we're going to need to be careful with these. Oh, there's at least two low shields. Hmm, let me come up with a battle plan. So, things are about to start moving real quick here. Lunk is going to go say hello to Diane. Uh, and by hello, I mean murdering them horrifically. Uh, where is... Ah, Lindsay. Lindsay is showing up with a doomsday. Uh, they should be here shortly. Oh, Lunk. That person's lining up. You know what that means. You are going to have to get out of dodge. Oof. I mean, I would like you to stay there, but... Uh, you'll get yourself killed. Actually, let's see if we can't stretch this just a little bit longer. Damn it. Come on. Perfect. No, not so perfect. Uh, Lunk is going to have to do a jump. That should reset them. Perfect. They can't target him while he's in midair. And over here, Smokey is getting ready for this crowd that are coming in. That's fine. That's fine. Now, right there, buddy. Right there. You shoot that one off. Um, about to hit. Which is going to go to that location. In that case, you can get skipped back to there. And you can get skipped back to there. And you all can eat a doomsday. Yoink! And impact! <laughs> oh, beautiful. Okay then, uh, that has taken out a few of them. That's their triple down. Uh, where's the doomsday? Damn it, I could have sworn there was a doomsday around here somewhere. Checking the footage, it turns out it was Whitney who had the, uh, the doomsday. But... Yeah, that, that's not a problem anymore. Okay, everyone out of the way. Oh, you know what? You skip them back, would you? I would prefer if they were out of the way. Uh, it was just, there was a, an LMG looking to lock on. We're going to put our melee people over here. Papercell and Lunk are going to go to the side. Uh, everyone else is going to line up here to start shooting at the ones coming that way. And if any of the ones, they've got two with shield pops there that I've hi highlighted. If they come within range, what we're going to do is get Lunk to skip them into close combat and try and kill them without popping their shields. Over this side, Smokey's going to have to deal with the ones that are coming, but preferably we would have a little bit of time to deal with that. Lindsay, oh, yeah, you don't have a gun anymore, do you? Uh, Psychic Insanity Lance is not the worst thing in the world. Oh, there's a triple there. Uh, that seems like a problem. And uh, now it's no longer a problem. Uh, wait, did I get the right one? Yeah, Cameron's Berserk. That is perfectly fine. Whew. And... Oh, Nick. That was the guy. This fella over here needs to be skipped in close combat. Lunk. Uh, do us a favor. Skip that guy right there. Let's make sure no one tries to target him. Lindsay, you can go back and get a gun. Actually, no, we'll keep you there with the Insanity Lance, just in case. Uh, make sure no one targets you. Attacking Victor. No, I don't want anyone attacking Nick. I want Nick to die. Yep, Nick is down. Perfect. That just leaves very few of them left alive. And uh, they should break once one or two more go. And I think that should happen rather quickly. Smokey, how you doing? Ooh, they are super bunched up over there, aren't they? Let's aim right about there. Yeah, let's see how that works out. And... 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 Oh! <laughs> Yep, yep, that worked out pretty good. That is uh, an excellent shot. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, that's that's a thumbnail right there. Well, that's uh, didn't do as much damage as I was hoping. There's still 12 of them there and only four died. I mean, there's a whole bunch injured. They're, like, suffering from some pretty decent shredding right there. But we still got to get through the rest of them. Smokey is going to try and teleport away immediately, but there's is a... Nope. Oh. Katie's reached level 17 in shooting, and this crowd are starting to flee. That is... Excellent news. Oh, actually, wait. What's that guy's speed? Your speed is 2.84. Puffer Sills is 3.94. I think I want you dead. Puffer Sills, go run that guy down and hack him to bits. Um, hmm. I don't think I want the triple. Yeah, let's let that burn up. I don't care. 
Let's get people to start heading this direction. I think we can make quite a mess here. The first thing I want to do is grab that guy and skip him right there. Wait, damn it. Okay, we can't skip him there. Okay, a little bit closer. And then... Perfect. Now everyone get inside. Uh, thanks for the shield pop, buddy. Uh, we'll take it. Now everyone get in there. Ow, Lunk got set on fire. Oof. That kind of sucked. Okay, we don't have as much explosives as we would like. Uh, yeah. There we go. I mean weapons as we would like. Oh, all right. Now all we gotta do is see what else we want to capture. Two low shield packs on the right. I think we'll suck them in close for a good bit of a hacky hack. Uh, Chili is... might make it away? Damn it, he is moving pretty zippily. If he does, he does. We're not going to sweat it too much. Uh, we are going to skip another one of those low shields in close. Well, once the opportunity presents itself. We also have an insanity lance and a few charge lances. Let me check my spreadsheet to see what kind of breeding partners we need. Looking about, we've got a male dirt mole and a male pigskin over here. I say we nab both of those right now. Oh, damn it, we already killed one. Well... That was kind of unfortunate. And anyway, we'll have to grab that guy, but... Oh, and you. We need to skip you right beside Lunk, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, that leaves the rest of these at range, and I don't think... Yeah, you, none of you have anything too dangerous on you. Uh, we still need, though, someone to grab a female Neanderthal. So if you would mind dropping that... Uh, uh, dun, dun, dun. Pirates are fleeing. Now, I want you to pick up this shock lance, if you would mind. Excellent. Oops. Ex Guys, how did you shoot the guy on the ground? That was just dumb. Uh, Smokey here has this, and I think... I don't know if they've got enough time, but there is a female Neanderthal over the side, and we could potentially capture them. Uh, right there. Okay, uh, where is your sh psychic shock lance? Oh, damn it, I made you pick it up and said, never mind. Uh, they can go back to there. Excellent. Drop the psychic shock lance, and then I want you to equip it. Done. Aversil, you can just, I don't know, kill... Oh, wow, the guy made it off the map somehow. This, the... Uh, I was really hoping we could grab that Neanderthal. Oh well, nothing else they are left worth taking. These two enemies have been trying to leave for a while now. Unfortunately, they can't make it because we have a lot of psi focus energy and we can skip them a whole bunch, which means they're kind of stuck just sort of running around in circles for a while. I considered briefly walling them in with wall rays, but that seemed kind of pointless. Hilarious, but pointless. Anyway, you should... No, no. Coming back, buddy. That's right. And if we click on you... You can keep going back too. <laughs> You're gonna bleed out eventually. I think I'm gonna try just have a little fun with them because this one's a little bit tougher than the last. So let's see what happens if we do that. And now they're trapped inside. <laughs> oh excellent. I wonder if this is more cost efficient or less cost efficient. Well this is weird. They're just seems gonna stay in there. They're fleeing in panic but well, that saves us four hours of them not bleeding out. Uh, Lunk is... Yeah, Lunk is fine. I don't think Lunk even notices that he's got a bit of damage to him. Uh, we will see if we can't capture these by, uh, well, just letting them bleed out trapped in there. I might use this in future. You get some wounded people, throw them into a corner, and then wait until they bleed out enough that they pass out unconscious. That worked out disturbingly well. One more prisoner for the pile, for either rip scanning or... Actually, I got the, some humans here. That Neanderthal might come in handy. But if we've got a few humans there, we can use them to maybe attempt to grab some genetics by splicing some onto them. Now, the reason we grab some of these humans is so that we can implant some genes onto them. We've got super clotting, heat weakness, and mild cell instability. But this is one of those uh, genes we picked up earlier, and it comes in a, a bundle. So we'd like to split it up. So we're going to implant it in Sky, and then we're going to, well, once they recover from their xenogerimination coma, we can chuck them in there, and hopefully we can rip out, well, we can rip out one of the genes. One of them would be really handy, even.
Like even super clotting or mild cell instability, I'd be happy with either of those. We've also got major cell instability down here. I'd also like that one. So yeah, we we could do with a few baseline humans just to start ripping genetics out of them. Wait, let me rephrase. We could do with some baseline humans so that we could put in some of these more complicated genes and then rip out the ones we want. Like we want quick study on its own. We want smooth tail on its own, very fast runner on its own. So we just implant these into some baseline humans and then we have a 50-50 shot of getting those. Or a 1 in 3 depending on how many genes come bundled. Ah, enslavement. Mr. Bundy has joined us. Now Mr. Bundy is only going to be with us temporarily of course, but Mr. Tom Bundy is a dirt mole. And as a dirt mole, that means we're going to pair them off with Smokey. So we've got Smokey's ovum there and that's Smokey with an impid, a waster and finally a dirt mole. So that's three separate ones. Now you can, well, I think actually you can pick up a, oh, electro shotgun and then, or an EMP launcher, and then you can become a brain. Quick EMP fired at Damon, makes them guilty, and now that they're guilty, they can hop into the brain ice cream scooper. That's how I just imagine it works. It's a, it's an ice cream scooper and they, hey, what are you doing? Get in there. Cannot enter waiting for ingredients. Okay, well, once the ingredients are in, they'll hop in there and that should be that problem solved. Oh, and we should have enslaved someone else there recently as well. Is it Humberto? Yeah, they're next up. That'll give us another egg. We've got to start planning for the next wave of kids. There's five more kids to go, and we've got to raise those as well. We've got to raise them well. Some of these kids that have been raised so far, they're, they may not be, well, perfection. Okay, Bundy's been ice cream scooped, and a royal tribute collector has shown up. Interesting. Uh, time to unload our bounty. Yeah, you guys. Open. Let's open those all up and then, oh, then we're going to want to do a quick ceremony for Alex. Alex should have oh, enough points to become, yeah, yeah, we definitely want to do that. Alex, you are going to be assigned out to this. And then once these are open, we want to start thawing out these people. They're pretty heavily drugged right now and we want the drugs to wear off so we can actually utilize them. And, oh, it's a whole bunch of bears. Yeah, I'd forgotten about that. I really should have listed a ten. Uh, so we got a whole bunch of uh, Yatkin things down. That is good. Alex, we want immediately... Acolyte Ceremony. Perfect. That pops down the Royal Tribute Collector, or the Royal whatever you may call it. Alex, how are you looking on the learning front? You are currently doing radio talking. Well, not for much longer. Soon, buddy, you're going to be getting your next level. Then you're going to be selling a bunch of slaves to get even higher up in levels. This does sort of seem like the path of a psychopath. I mean, it's just it's how they've worked out. They're psychically hypersensitive. They're a bit of a psychopath. Maybe a little bit of a power complex. Napoleon complex. Maybe several complexes. And uh, let's hope this doesn't end badly for them. Or it ends as badly as it needs to. Oh, and I think a bunch of those bears are starting to become mobile again. Ah, oh, god damn it, I'm in the middle of something. Can't you guys just leave me alone for five minutes? Fine, we got a bunch of gas-toting nutjobs. On the bright side, we have gas immunity. Incendiary launcher, well that's not good. Molotov cocktail, ah, there we go, tox bomb launchers. Most of our crew are now immunity, immune to tox poisons. Uh, for example, Chewy here. Immune to tox poisons. Uh, oh, actually... Damn it, that makes it convenient. But anyone has got basic bees, so Katie's as well. They're actually a merkid, but same thing. Uh, Lunk is... Lunk is a vamp, which says they're immune to toxic... They have toxic immunity, but they can still get lung rot for some reason. I don't know if that's meant to happen. Uh, Papercil's a basic bee. Smokey's actually on a nap break. Damon's an impid, actually. we got to keep an eye out for him. Lindsay's a basic bee. Stalker's a basic bee. So Ryan and Damon are the only two who aren't immune to tox poison. Everyone else is. I need to get a bit of a team together, and I'm thinking a doomsday right in the middle of them would make a wonderful mess. There's 51 of them. So yeah, giant explosion in the middle sounds like a good idea to me. Okay, grandiose bestowing ceremony. We let it finish. We had just enough time. Excellent. And then, Alex, what kind of abilities did you get out of that? You got neural heat dump. So you get to dump your pain off on someone else. Well, that uh, seems fit for you, actually. All right, we need to get a decent team together and go out and start taking care of these. From what I can see, only one of them has a low shield. And they are breachers, so we should be able to kill... Or is it... Yeah, they are... Yeah, breachers. So if we start killing off the top ones, they might start milling around a bit, and we might get to chew them up from a distance. And I'm taking everyone. Taking the whole team, even the kids. I'm afraid even the kids are coming along. It's about time they learned what combat's like. Uh, but we will be actively using low shields. How many have we got on hand is the question, and should I get some more people to... Oh, we've only got one? Yeah, I think we're going to need a couple more low shields before we go out there. Okay, let's move... Oh, let's slow this down a wee bit. 
Katie's has gone back to grab a shock lance. We want to see if we can't maybe nab someone to add to our team. I mean, we have a lot of people here. They've got to have one we're looking for. First, first we've got to take care of the initial swarm. And Alex, I think you want to trade with these guys. Uh, we have a bunch of y Yatkins over there that we do want to get rid of. And you do need to get up just a little bit higher with the Empire. I think that should be enough to get them to Praetor. Yep, Praetor. Excellent. Uh, I should probably stick the remaining two back in storage, though. Uh, otherwise, it might cause prison breaks. All right, team. Uh, let's get lined up and start killing them. The grenade guy's inbound. Uh, just let me get one or two more things sorted. Okay, then let's kick this off nice and quick. We already killed the grenadier up front, but they were miles ahead. The rest of them are going to be a little bit more tricky. No, oh, Empire. Don't, don't do anything dumb. Well, the kids are having fun, at least. Oh, I think they're firing back the full distance. So, in that case, damn it. Deploy the shield. Uh, if the poison gas gets too close, the kids will have to run away. And uh, you get up a little bit closer, and you get up a little bit closer as well. I want to make sure those guys are nice and close, just in case the shield breaks. That's lots of good killing. Now, they should have a low shield pack in there somewhere. There was one I really should have been keeping an eye at. We're going to try skipping them. Nope, found them. They are way at the back. So, Lunk, what's your skip range? Probably not far enough. Might have to come forward a little bit more. That's fine. Lunk and Papper still can get up front. And, oh, I think they just reach range. Are they just uh, about? Excellent. Uh, you know what? Right there is fine. And they're dead. Well, that low shield has just paid for itself. Uh, you guys can pull back a tad as well. God, that gas is... It spreads fast. Wow. Yeah, let's grab a few more to destroy. There is a Neanderthal female right there. Uh, they're not in perfectly mint condition, but... A quick zap with... Oh, wait. It was this one, was it? Yep, yeah, sorry. This was the Undertale Dirt Mole. Wrong one. Uh, and that means we should probably get them out of there. Uh, the problem is they're sort of, um, how do I say this? In a poison cloud, which is bad, because the poison cloud will kill them. Yeah, where are you? There you go. Perfect. We will zip you way over here. That should get you out of the poison cloud. And then the rest of our crowd don't really care. In fact, let's maybe invite a few more people into play. Now, you guys are loving throwing around that poison cloud stuff, right? So what if you guys got nice and close to us? And there you go. So now you guys are nice and close, and you get sliced up. Oh, kids. Gonna need you to step back further, even. That gas is going to be bad for your lungs. We don't want you getting any stunted development here. Tox gas mild. Oof. Yeah, not going to be winning any parental awards for this, am I? You know what? Go here. Eh, uh, go here. In fact, we're going to we're gonna take you out of the combat. It's fine. Everyone else here has got it down. Our shield has popped, but that's okay. <laughs> Excellent. Now we just have to capture that one. And maybe we'll kill a few more while we're at it. Dear lord, they make a wonderful mess. Thankfully, we're pretty immune to the gas. Oh, Ryan. Yeah, initial bit of initial gas buildup, and Damon? Initial as well. You two can go take a nap. Everyone else will take care of the problems. You gotta give it to this team. They're getting it together. That was like 50 people, and they didn't take that much damage. Hey, guys, don't shoot through each other. I think he just clipped Stoker there with that one. And this guy decided to stop and punch a tunneler. Well, that's not going to go too well for you. All right, I think we've done enough damage here. Let's bring everyone back in and uh, go through our spoils. I think we should be able to do the last of the eggs and get them ready to go into the vats. Everyone stops to have a quick snack inside a poison gas cloud. I mean, there's tables right over here, guys. Just, just use the tables. For the love of God, I don't mind you eating in the poison gas cloud. It's just that you don't use tables that really irritates me. Anyway, war crimes aside, uh, we've got a little bit of an issue at the moment. A quest has activated a psychic droner. Now, I've had a quick look here, and it's very close by. It'd probably walk, but instead we're going to lunk. So we're going to fire him over, and we're going to land him at the edge. 
Uh, hopefully it's not a big problem. If it is, we'll have to send over more people. Uh, Smokey was standing here because Smokey gave him a quick psycho rush thingy so that he can, uh, whatever, the thing that allows him to move faster and stuff. So let's have a quick zoom in. Uh, are they asleep? Dormant. That is good. That is very good. Well, that's awkward. Turns out they do have a countdown activator and a proximity activator. Unfortunate. Hmm. But not too unfortunate. I think we can take this with ease. Uh, you. Uh, pick that up. Pick that up. And then head down this direction. See, the thing is, so long as we stay out of range of the two turrets, we don't care. That leaves them with three mechanoids. They have one pikeman, a scorcher, and a miltor. Uh, neither of those two are going to be able to crack the shield. The scorcher is the problem. However, we do have skip, so yeah, there's that. And we also have berserk pulse. Hmm. Let's see here. No, we are going to just claim the door. Okay. Then we're going to claim that. Oh. Can we stand there and hit that? Could. It would be glorious. Oh my god. Well. Uh. That makes things much easier. What I was going to do was lock the doors and start smashing this down and maybe let them in one door or take out the Scorcher on its own. But it turns out we can just smash this and then walk away. Good job, Lunk. Well, easy peasy. Uh, I don't think we're going to take anything with us. We are just going to leg it off the edge of the map. Uh, if you'll see here, we've actually got Psychic, fo psychic Focus as well, which is why we're moving at 10 speed, even though it's daylight at the moment. Nice. Head back home. Problem solved. They'll be home in 0 0.2 of a day. Lunk, just taking care of business from start to finish. It's time for Cowgirl to get on a their final level of anima linking. They're at level 5 now, this will take them all the way up to level 6. And um, we can give them Berserk Pulse as well, pretty sure we have one in storage. Ooh, exotic goods trader. They are pretty tasty. In fact, let's get Smokey over there as soon as they're done. Okay, but when you're, ever you're finished, get around and go call them. They might have some good genes we're looking for. We are definitely running into a brick wall on the genetic front. Uh, actually, let me show you the issue we're having. It's to do with pluses and minuses to construction shooting, all of these ones here. This here is just some of the info I've been using to keep track of the families and who they've been prepared off with. But the more important bit is this down here. It's to do with, say, the genetics for shooting. We do have the great gene pack for shooting. That's plus eight shooting and a plus one bonus to your passions. And we have awful, which is minus eight and removes all passions. That's wonderful. However, we don't have the great construction, cooking, plants, animals, artistic, medical, social. Or to put it in even simpler terms, we have these five. Shooting, mele shooting and melee, we managed to rip out of a hussar. Mining, we managed to rip out of a dirt mole. And crafting intellectual, we ripped out of a genie. The remaining ones we haven't been able to find, I think because they're not actually built into anyone. None of the, uh, none of the races come with a great art, medical, social. Like vamps come with uh, good social, strong social, not great. Um, some of them come with poor and all that, but it's just a case of we're not finding the greats in all of these. I mean, we have found literally all of the archite capsules, multiple ones of the archite uh, types. But we haven't found any of these at all. I'm not even sure. Maybe they're not due to come up or maybe their rarity is just that rare. I was really hoping that we could get at least construction. That would be really useful. And art, because crafting wise, I can live with plus four to crafting. Uh, but art and construction, getting a plus eight on those would be huge. But we can't find them. Also, we need to have awful ones as well so we can have counteracting traits. This is sort of the bottleneck right now. It's not the rare traits that are scuppering our plans. It's it's these traits that should be reasonably not that hard to find. Yeah, it turns out they're the hardest ones to find. I don't mean to say that everything is terrible on the genetics front. We definitely have a lot of really good stuff here and we can make some awesome pawns at the end of the end of end of this before we arco nexus. It's just a case of we're missing quite a few that I would really like. Uh, also, we definitely need hemogenic. I want to make some semi-vampires, so we need hemogenic. This is built into... Let me grab a lunk here. They're a perfect example. Hemogenic gives you the actual the little bar with the hemogen bar right here, but we just don't want hemogenic drain, which gives you a minus eight per day. It actually gives you plus six stuff to work with, which is nice, but we would prefer to just get hemogenic, combine that with death rest, long jump, and coagulate. Those four there would be really nice to have with our pawns. They'd be sort of semi-vampires, but without the piercing spines, blood feeding, and the hemogenic drain. 
and you'd have sort of low-end vampires that could just live off. You know, they have to drink a bit of blood now and then. They're like iron deficient, let's just say. Ah, finally. Ho has been enslaved by Lunk. Uh, Ho, I believe, was assigned that to... Stalker's Ovum. That will give us our second fertilized egg. And... Done. Okay. Uh, let's actually have a quick check of the genetics on this one. Hmm. Metabolic efficiency zero. Slow wound healing. Animal war cult. Robust. Aggressive. Fairy tale. Yeah, no. That's not terrible. Not great. Not bad. How's... Uh, actually, let's check this egg over here. This one was Smokey's egg. That's strong stomach, robust, just nearsighted. Well, they're not going to be a shooter again. Great mining. Hmm. Okay. Now, that means we just have three more to go, and that should be fairly simple. Now, let me check. Chewbacca, you're paired off with Giggles, I want to say. Uh, yep, ovum of Giggles. Fertilize. There you go. So, your kid's going to be... Ooh, strong immunity, or sorry, super immunity. Psychically dull. Oh, yeah, kind of runs in the family. Naked speed, sleepy, unfortunately. Unattractive. Uh, pollution stimulus, poor cooking, great animals, psychic dependency, and wake up impervious. That's an interesting child. Very interesting. They will, uh, they will do well in the colony. Now, Lunk, who did I pair you off with? Ah, yes, you're paired off with the Ovum of Ash, which will give us a kid that is... Strong immunity, slow runner. Strong melee, yes. Total anti-toxic lungs? What the hell? Robust? Unattractive? Slow study, poor shooting, poor cooking, awful animals, poor social, poor intellectual. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? Um, that was... Ash was a waster? Uh, how? What just happened? So, checking through the gene profiles for both of these, Lunk is actually a poor shooter, poor intellectual, poor social. That's from being a, a Neanderthal. And the poor cooking and the awful animals comes from the mother. And the mother was actually a waster who has both of those. The kid literally got every single poor stat they could get uh, in, terms of, um, in terms of skill stats from both parents combined. They literally got every single last one of them. But it's okay, it's okay. Lunk's kids are only supposed to be designed for melee, pl animals, plants, and construction. So the only thing that is affected is animals. That's it. Like, plants, construction, and melee are unaffected. So we can, we can work around this. We can gene splice some stuff on. They're already robust. They've got strong melee, strong immunity, and total anti-toxic lungs built in. Cold and heat tolerant? Oh my god. Butt ugly, heavy child. <laughs> We're gonna be a perfect child. Just, you'll be like frontline tank fodder. First thing before breakfast, Damon's about to finish this off. This is the last egg we have to fertilize. Uh, this should be Bishrift. They were a dirt mole. So it's an imp with a dirt mole, and the kid we get has fire spew, weak immunity, fast wound healing, very fast running, cold weakness, weak melee damage, and great mining with poor plants. Okay, not... not too exciting when we're the nearsighted. This means, yeah, you won't be carrying a gun either, kid. You're going to be close range. You might have to start toting shotguns about the place. All right, then. That was... Hey, guys, does someone want to put them back into their bed? They're death resting at the moment, though. Is that like... Oh, they talk in their sleep. And one thing you do need to remember to do is make sure to wipe out the line. Like, this is going to be one of the parents of the kids, and we don't want them coming back at some point and attacking us if we release them or did something polite like that. So instead, make sure they end up like, ooh, actually that reminds me, I'll probably, yeah, we'll throw them in the scanner. And let me load that up first and get these arrested. For extra style points, turn the kid's mother into a brain core, implant that into a robot, and then when the kid asks about its mother, you can just like introduce him to the robot and it's like, this is your mother. Your mother's a killing robot machine. That would be, I suppose that's every kid's dream. And before we go on to the next bit, it turns out CM Dark decided to play with fire. I've changed the zones to stop them going into the corpse pit. God damn, Muppet. And they'll be walking through water and they're in the rain. They should be fine, idiots. However, an interesting quest has shown up. Uh, this one here, Drifters Seek Aid. Uh, basically, they want 39 medicine, blah blah blah, they'll move on for a day. However, you can kill, arrest, harvest, or do whatever you want with them. And they won't mind. And Solar Flare. Uh... Right. Awkward timing, but uh, we have one, two, three. Yeah, we have several beds left over. I think it's time we uh, acquired some more people. This next bit should hopefully be not that bad. Uh, let's try to arrest. Ooh. Yep, that's fine. 
Uh, we've arrested one of them. Now, the reason we're arresting them is these are three human females and, well, more important bit is they're baseline humans, which means we can use them to splice on genes and then rip them out. And then there's also this one. They are a high mate. High mates are one of those ones that can bond with you and, you know, give huge bonuses. But more importantly, they've got great social. This is one of the traits we're missing from the great section. I'd forgotten this actually existed. We could rip it out of them. So we just need to zap them unconscious. Uh, is that... which one? Kato? Female beggar? Yeah, grab Kato. Uh, we don't want Gaius, we want Kato. Uh, then we want Chewbacca to zap... Uh, Hogan and Moo. And yink yink. And yoink. Perfect. That's all of them. We can let the... Yeah, yeah, the, the Porculons can run away. We'll just capture everyone else. Okay, new people successfully acquired. But before this goes any further, we need... <laughs> We need to be very careful with this high mate. Uh, basically, the moment they try and romance someone, they succeed. First time, every time. Even if the person's married and in a long-term stable relationship, nothing matters. Ooh, brain damage. How you doing on that front? Uh, only 10% loss, no biggie. However, to make sure you don't start uh, romancing anyone, let's have a quick tongue tonguenectomy or tonguectomy. I don't know, whatever you call it when you remove someone's tongue. We take out the tongue. None of that romance stuff can go down. Well, that's the theory. And then once that's done, we can start auto-extracting your genes and ripping them out of you. Samantha here is one of those ge one of those pawns we grabbed a while back, and we kind of spliced some genetics onto them. Major cell instability, partial antitoxic lungs, and orange skin. And the hope is, by chucking them into the gene extractor and ripping them, we can potentially get the one we're looking for, which is major cell instability, which is exactly what- yes! Okay, uh, that is going to be very handy for us later on. That's a plus four metabolic efficiency boost. And we don't have to worry about the negative side effects of that so long as we build our pawns correctly. Oop, just throwing down another one of those. All right, our gene bank is looking quite tasty. Uh, next up, I think, will be Moo here. Uh, we gene spliced onto Moo, and they ended up with a pig snout. So the name's Moo, and they got a pig snout. I know that doesn't quite fit. It's not cow-related, but somehow it just seems mildly appropriate. We're hoping to rip quick study out of them, though this one's not nearly as important. Next up, I think we're going to rip another gene or three. Ah, yes, awful cooking. It's attached to, well, unattractive, which is unattractive. What we want is awful cooking on its own, so we can give that to everyone who's not going to be a cook, which is everyone except Chewbacca's line. So Lunk, Smokey, all of them, none of them want to be cooks anyway, so who cares? We are just prepping for the completion of Cataphract Armor, and we can finally get some serious upgrades going on, but... There is a shadow over those plans, and that shadow is rather large. Oh, way too large. I better bring everyone back inside. Okay, all the kids back inside. Now, please don't be a mortar. Though we haven't seen one in a while, so that might be asking too much. Uh, slow that down a bit. Okay, I'm not seeing a mortar. That's kind of nice. Toxic spewer, which, less nice, but that doesn't initiate for 11 days. All right, let me do a quick goosey here. And before we go tackles, I think we're going to go after it pretty much straight away. Papper still here is down for the moment. We are replacing two legs and an eye, just so that they can get rid of all of the negative bits they had managed to accumulate over their rather eventful life. All right, once that operation is done, though, I say we go over there and take this out. Reason being, there's not really a lot there, but there is a lot potentially there. They have six mech assemblers. Now, I think the way these work, though, I have to double check this. I've never actually tested this in a long time. The countdown timer on these starts for when they're going to produce their next py pikeman. And they won't produce it, though, but what would happen is, just say you waited four days, then activated this. These things would all chuck out one mechanoid pretty much instantly. Because the timer's already started on them producing the first one. So we're better off taking this out then, and we'll have to deal with, well, six less, less, six less mechanoids. Uh, we only have five mech capsules, and we have two mech drop beacons. It's a lot of mechs, but we're going to have to deal with them one way or the other. I say we drill them back in here, and we kill them somewhere around this section, or we might have to fight them a little bit out in the open. We have plenty of insanity lances if there's a whole bunch of centipedes. We have, like, ten of them in storage. All right, uh, how's the how did the op go? Excellent. Let's get a team together and equip them. Or we should let the kids finish some of their education. We, we don't want to eat into the kids' educational time. That would be bad. Uh, quest available glittering monument. I don't think I like the sound of that one. Yeah, build a big fancy monument, uh, blah, blah, blah. Construction must be completed in 36 days. Anti-grain warhead? Psychic emanator? Resurrector mech serum? Okay, now you have my attention. I mean, the loss of Muppet is still in the back of my head, so keeping the kids, having like a, a little safety net for your kids is good. 
Uh, you have accident-prone kids, you know, you, you tape stuff up. You have death-prone kids, you maybe get some resurrector mech serums. All right, um, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna let the training on these kids finish. Once the kids have got a little bit of training under their belt, or at least 95% learning, we'll, we'll go to deal with that mech cluster. And to start, we're gonna open with a mortar barrage. Why not? I mean, we've got these here. Uh, okay, those three have launched. Smokey now is gonna invisibilize themselves before that hits. Just, you know, so that they don't get shot. Perfect. Uh, ooh. Right? Problematic. There's a centipede with a blaster, and these scythers over there, but I think a yeah, quick insanity lancer too to make things interesting for them. There we go. Uh, any other nasties we should be looking at for? No, is that it? I really thought there would be a lot more mess. Hmm. Okay then. Well, in that case, we'll just burn an Insanity Lance on one of these Scythers. And then we're going to jump out of dodge and help everyone home. And yoink. Actually, skip is a little bit faster. Okay, I'm going to skip jump the whole way home. Uh, they're going to come after us. Uh, well, once they're finished dealing with their friends over here. Oh, wow. That guy already destroyed a turret. Well, as long as they're doing our job for us. Here they come. Now, they've got a filter shoe there, which gives us a pretty good angle on mowing them all down. Let's see. Yeah, that's a pretty decent angle. So they should come through there nice and slowly and then get riddled full of bullets. Also, with some of our walls. Okay, Lunk, time for you to do your thing. Uh, put him right there. Perfect. And you know what? Where's Smokey? Smokey, you're probably not even shooting yet. Uh, get that one and put him right there. Katie's maybe pulled back a bit. We don't want you getting caught up in that. There you go. Done. Done. And Meteorite of Compacted Machinery has landed. Ooh. I mean, I'll never say no to compacted machinery. That's a lot of compacted machinery. All right, then. Now we've got Pikeman, a Lancer, and a Centipede. Is that it? Uh, everyone over here, we're, we're not even going to try and get into a shootout with them from there. Problem is, they've got the outrageous, so we'll just wait around the corner and kill them. Actually, we might wait slightly closer to the corner if that poisoned gas cloud wasn't there. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Everyone stay there, and let's just let the scythers off the leash. I say they, we give them this zone to work with. Let them run out, and we get our close combat people up behind to clean up. Okay, the bots are charging. Excellent. Uh, we can get in a little bit behind them, and give fire support. Oh, excellent, and the legionnaires are actually helping out as well. Nice. That's actually a pretty sweet setup. The legionnaires are basically acting as mobile shields, soaking up the damage. Preventing us from getting shot. Oh, yeah, that's not going to last, though. The centipede just uh, opened fire. However, we do have ways of dealing with centipedes. Oh, yes, we do. Uh, you need to step forward just a tiny tad. That guy needs to drop to right about there. Smokey, why are you not firing? Done. Lunk, you can get in there, too. Perfect. And... Lunk Dunk. Yep. Oh, good job, Chief. Now, we didn't bring Paprosil in because they were still recovering from their anesthetic is still wearing off, but that was... Yeah, that was pretty much a good slaughter. All I gotta do now is get someone over here with a smoke launcher and some grenades and we'll take care of this mess. As you can see, these things have a whole day before they spit out anything that's going to annoy us, so all we need is a smoke launcher. Uh, a nice close approach lane, I think, from over this side behind the walls. We'll sneak in there and start tearing the place apart. You know, Randy likes to have fun with you sometimes, just because. A timber wolf has started hunting Damon. Now, Damon was on the way over here with a smoke launcher. Now, if this was any other time, Damon wouldn't care because they'd have an assault rifle. But they don't, because... Uh... And Smokey's nearby, but they have grenades. Yay. So, let's just... Uh... Do a little something something there, and then let's do a little something something there. Okay. Oh, 
No, bad doggy. <laughs> okay. That kind of worked. We hit it for a lot of damage. Now, should we just punch it or should we let it go? Mm. Is it going to chase us? What's its movement speed? 2.25. You know what? We're just going to, like, see if it chases after us. If it does, we can start chucking grenades behind us. But, dear lord, that is the dumbest thing Randy's done in a while to me. It's just mildly annoying. And done. That's all the turrets gone. Now all we got to do is kill the spawner. So if we've got 0.6 of a day left. Uh, I think Damon can head home? Yeah. There's nothing left at all in turrets. They're walking away, buddy. If anything goes wrong, we can skip you to see. Damn it, low shield. Yeah, whatever. Oh, come on. I haven't even finished cleaning up that last one. Damon, where are you? Okay, Damon's over here. At least they're on the way home safely. Uh, we did get an exotic trade caravan coming and that's per just terrible timing. Uh, Smokey, maybe head out to the side here. Uh, we might need to teleport you or do all sorts of stuff to keep you safe. Please, for the love of all that is holy, do not, do not. Ah, yeah, that looks more like a normal one. I was wondering why the last one was so weak. Randy was just like, no, 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 no. We're going to just lure you into a false sense of security. How many of these is there? There's eight centipedes of various types. Hmm, that seems more reasonable. Uh, we got a couple of pikemen and a few scythers. Right, not a lot of turrets. Ooh, and an auto mortar. Yep, yep. Oh, at least we got unstable power cells. Now, on the bright side here, this mortar doesn't initiate for 15 days, so we have time to deal with this. Also, they don't have a mech shield. So I figure we just wait till everyone's back home, well rested, start off with a mortar barrage to take out their, their mortar, and then let them come to our kill box and murder the lot of them. Seems like a reasonable approach. And right now, yeah, actually, I want to do another thing here. I want to make sure no one comes over to this section, just in case they accidentally trigger the, uh, the mechanoids into this region. Perfect. Now, you can go home, and we'll deal with this mess later. There's a low shield here and a high shield. Or is it? Yeah. We can grab a couple of lo low shield packs out of or little components out of that shield cores that allow us to make low shields. Now, I'm going to figure out... You know what? We'll worry about that in a minute. We'll do a little bit of trading, get everyone sorted, and then worry about that mech cluster. Ooh, now that is tasty. Unsenescent and fertile. Um, yeah, this basically gets rid of all the chances of chronic age-related diseases like cancer, bad back, cataracts, dementia. But that means even if you have massive cell instability, you can't get any of these diseases. And if you have a nuclear stomach. And combined with, like, what is it? Fertile? Like, fertile is a non-issue. I don't even think that, that costs a point. Yeah, that doesn't even cost a point. That's effectively free, so long as you've got an archite uh, capsule to go with it. Yes, yes, please. Now, I was going to start off with a mortar barrage, but uh, the kids decided they wanted to have, you know, a little bit of a sky-gazing competition in the midst of it. Which is really awkward. 92%, you're at 92, you're at 100. Ah, oh, Christ, and you're going to eat without a table. Kids, I swear to God, you just can't teach them. What happened? And uh, no one should have went near there. Let me check some zones. From what I can see, no one went near them. And uh, they activated for some reason, though. I'm not sure exactly what it was. And that has gotten a little bit messier, but it's fine. And... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh. Yep, that was beautiful. Then the mortar still won't initiate for 14 days. Sort of okay with that. Uh, the mechanoids, however, are definitely initiating and they're coming straight for us. Nine centipedes. That's what I'm really worried about. The original eight scythers, eh, not so much. And the pikeman, seven. Yeah, those centipedes are going to hurt when they get through. All right. Same again. We'll hang back here. Mm, kill off the scythers. Then once the scythers are dead, we'll probably... You know, I really wish these would hurry up. I'm going to put down a sort of a line across here with the... Granite barricades. Is this a kill box? I'm not even sure anymore. Here they come. And, oh, they're also tangling with the royalty people. Eh, you know what? That's fine. Let them kill each other. Uh, let me make sure everyone here is firing. Fire at will, everyone. Murder the lot. Oof. 
Yeah, guys, that's not going to go well for you. If some of you could get injured but not died, that'd be great. We could rescue you and get more uh, resources with the Empire. And your animals are running away. Tempted to kill them, but I'm not going to. Ooh, one of the great things is, even though that pikeman is shooting at us, we don't have to care because we've got the uh, the shields from the legionnaires up. So we can soak a little bit of damage without having to work, worry too much. And I think the legionnaires are actually firing back. Wow. Uh, Empire, pretty much dead. Once they're finished with them, this crowd will flood into the kill box and we can start slaughtering them. Oh, one of the pikemen decided to come in and have a look. And they're dead. And that next one there is being very persistent. It's attacking Legionnaire 2. You know what, Legionnaire... I want you to go there. And Legionnaire 2, I want you to pull back. We could maybe convince them to come inside. Ugh, oh, never mind, they just switched targets. Fine. Alright. Pepperstill, I wanted you to stay inside. You were actually still recovering. Never mind, you were back on your feet and good to chop. In that case, uh, let's just kill them as they come. Killing these centipedes, though, I might want to send out someone with a shock, shock lance just to buy us some time. That is a lot. What is going on up there? Uh, there is fire. Ah, damn it. Yeah, should have made those doors out of something else. You know what? Didn't have time at the time. We'll worry about that in a minute. Mm, or maybe not. Where is Smokey? Smokey, I am going to have you do a quick jump. Uh, way the hell over there. And then we're going to get you to put down a water skip. Right about there. Ooh, nice. Then you can jump back. Right there. Now, I'm thinking it might be skip a clock for a bunch of these. We'll put the scythers out to one side and we'll start making some mosh pits. All right, about to kick off. Smokey. Uh, actually, wait, no. We'll use Lunk because Lunk's going to be busy smacking people in the face in a minute. So we need to make sure... Oh, damn it. Right there is good. Perfect. And then... Oh, that guy. Damn it, why can't we nab that guy? Ooh, problematic. Uh, who's got a low shield on them? Chewy. Pop it now. Ooh. I love that low shields are that fast. Uh, yeah, we want to do that. Come on. Yeah, another one there, and then another one there. Uh, damn it, they are just right around the corner. We need to start skipping more of them, but I can't get an angle on them. Ah, there we go. Uh, you can go down there. Anything else? You can go down there. Perfect. And no, no. Oh, there we go. You can go down here. Oof. Yeah, right about there is fine. You can attack that one. There's still one flamer guy that I can't get an angle on. That is very frustrating. Lunk. Get a little bit closer, buddy. Excellent. What the? How can you hit me from there if you can't even... Mm, you know what? Bugger off. Just bugger off. Come back when you've made up your mind what physics are like. Okay, and Lunk, you can go uh, melee attack that centipede. Okay, that seems to be working out quite nicely. Oh, there's another one. Uh, Lunk. Skip them right there. Uh, actually, right there will be nice. Perfection. Oh, there's a flamer one. Never did like those. So you can go right there. You can say hello to Lunk. Lunk doesn't like you either. Oh, they've stopped again. Smokey. Get that one, skip another. I love that it's just skip. Skip is basically what allows us to do this insanity. And done, done, and done. And finished, finished, finished. One more for the skip oven. Oh, yeah, you can go there, fine. And finally that flamer is back. I think this is the last one. Yeah, yeah it is. And where do you want to go? I'm thinking... Anywhere in there is fine. Oh, Pampersail, I have been neglecting you. Get in there, buddy. Everyone else get in on top of that as well. 
Yeah, the only thing left is some weak shooters, that's grand. And you, get off the leash. Kill them all. Uh, let them all off the leash, I suppose. And with everyone off the leash, that should be a very quickly dead bunch of centipedes. Yeah, that just leaves one pikeman over there. You know what? Where are you, Paffersil? Why don't you do us all a favor? Go kill that thing. And I'm going to have to send someone over here to take care of this mess before it activates. We have 14 days from that, but it's, I'm more worried about these. 0.6 of a day for those pikemen to assemble, or... Ooh. Pikemen, Scyther, pikemen. Yeah, those things are not going to last that long. Oh, come on, Randy, for the I haven't even got a chance to get someone here to start smoking the place up to blow them up when you've already started another raid. Ah. <sighs> hey, now... There was a question as to why these raids seem quite difficult, even though we're just on... We're not losing is fun, but we're not on 500%... Uh, uh, 500%. We're only on 230% threat level or whatever it is. Just whatever the normal max difficulty is. The reason it's a little bit trickier is we've got... Well, it's basically manpower. We're really strapped on manpower. Uh, the reason being, say we had five people at the start, and then we had five kids, and the kids actually count full towards the raids. You'll see here, like, Jamus is 148 points. That's, but they're not. They're not usable because they're a kid, and if we put them on the front line and they take a single bullet, they're probably dead because their body size is only half that of a normal person. So they take, well, they can't do as much damage, they're not as good as everything, and they're more likely to die. So we don't put them on the front line. Which means those kids are basically dead weight. They count as full pawns, but they are kind of dead weight in a way. At the same time, we have two pawns that take death rests a lot, and we have one pawn that goes out on the map a lot. And then we have another pawn that goes out doing mining. So we're usually down a pawn or two in any particular engagement, combined with the fact that usually a half to a third of our team is usually children and non-productive. Makes all these things just that little bit more interesting. Now, what are we dealing with this time? The love of... come on. Right, it's Bill Tours. Um... I probably should have been paying more attention. I thought that was uh, something else. I thought that was going to be another hive. But Milters? Yeah, I say we go back to our kill box and start murdering them? I think a low shield and some decent cover, and that's just, like, a horrific mess. Uh, run? Yep, yeah, run back here. Uh, we're going to set up around this section and bring all our mechs and everyone back inside and hide. As I was bringing everyone inside, I realized something. It's not just... These 84 milters we have to deal with, we also have to deal with these 76 milters. So there's basically a 160 milters on the map. That's a, an interesting thing to happen, but that's fine. We're going to bring everyone back inside. Oh, yeah, they're pausing as well. Okay, so they're going to pause, and then after they're finished doing whatever they're doing, they're going to come for us. That gives us time to equip everyone up. I think it's everyone's going to be on the line today. Like, everyone. Even the kids. We need every single piece of firepower to kill them fast enough. Well, Damon and Stoker have decided to kick off. Uh, I don't know why. Their mood is really high. What's the social? Stalker viciously insulted Damon's son's animal taming ability. Oh, that's just mean, man. Don't pick on his kid. Uh, wh which son, though? Is it Tiberius? Actually, no, that's the daughter. Wait, what? Both of Damon's kids are girls. What do you... Right, am I missing something here? Hmm, never mind. Uh, yeah, and this is another thing that annoys me. When I want to find out in the social which one of these is Damon, I have to know that the first name of Damon is Nostchevot. Like, it puts their first name first as opposed to their last name. Why? No, we never use their last name. We only ever, like, use their second, their nickname. We never use the first name. But if I want to find them on social, I gotta... Uh, it's dumb. Never mind. Okay, so Lunk. Um, let them hit each other just a little bit. And that's enough. Now you two can separate. You good? You go oh my god, seriously, you're still going to keep chasing each other. You know I'm not going to let that finish, right? Oh, you almost made it. Almost. Wait, Lunk. What are you... Oh, damn it, they moved just out of range. They outsmarted us. Alright, you, get over there. Alright, they've given up. Perfect. Which reminds me, we should probably get around to killing these. I'd love to throw in a mortar shell in there. I think a few mortars might make a bit of a mess. Our three best mortar people have just fired. Let's see what they can do. I'm hopeful. There is 84 milters alive. Oh, wow. That's... 14? That's actually pretty impressive. I mean, 14 of them... I suppose they're so weak sauce that any hits really, really hurt them. Eh... That'll soften up a fair few. 
Uh, bill complete. Make bionic leg. Yep, yeah, we've cut our, uh, our little crafter fabricator thing making as many bionics as possible. Oh, here they come. Uh, which ones? These ones? Yeah, well, kind of to be expected. We did shoot them up. How are you guys doing? They're probably also coming. Uh, we've got these doors open in here. We're going to line up everyone, kids and all. Let's get this started. Well, here we go. We've got plenty of people ready to do the close combat angle. Uh, that's assuming we can keep them all from swarming us too greatly. We do have low shield packs. And, oh god, they swarm through that. Yeah, they're popping out the other side. That's an annoyance. Yep, they're lining up. Chewy, pop that shield. Lunk, start skipping them. Uh, oh wow, there's not really much use in skipping them. You know what? They want to lump up. I'm going to berserk them. There you go. That should give plenty for them to think about. Buy us plenty of time to shoot them. Oh god. Yep, that works out really well. Okay, how's our shield looking? Eh, probably fine. That one? Yep. Yeah. My god, there's so many of them. Lunk. Give us another Berserk Pulse if you wouldn't mind, buddy. Right there. Uh, Smokey. Another Berserk Pulse as well. Right there. That is beautiful. Oh my god. Cowgirl, you have a Berserk Pulse, don't you? Oh, yes you do. Uh, stick one right there in the middle. Okay, I think we're about to run out of shielding, so I think it's time our scythers went uh, chop happy. All right, scythers are let loose. Uh, done. You can actually go grab cover there, and you can go grab cover there. We're going to injure some of our own people, but you know what? I'm kind of okay with that. Oh, what are these last trickles coming at home? They must have been the ones that were injured by the mortars. I think... I think that's enough? Kids, get in here. I want you to tuck in behind. You get in there, just to stop any potential friendly fire incidents. And concentrate firepower. And I think we're done. Bring back all the bots. Only a few left. And... are we finally finished? Wow. Okay, it's a mess. And it takes it way too long to kill them all, but it kind of worked out in the end. Like, Christ, it's going to take forever to shred those. While the home team clean up this mess, we still have to come back here and clean up this mess. Uh, we've got 0.2 of a day until these buildings spawn. Like, what was the... Let me double check here. We had... Ah, here we go. That mech cluster came in at 356 days. And now we're at 358 days. Okay, so three... Two mech clusters and those milters in two days. That was a pretty rough, pretty rough time. I'm not going to lie. That was uh, uncomfortable. All right. And oh my God, Smokey's actually running out of sci focus from all of the casting they've been doing. That's um, kind of impressive. Okay, that's one of those, Dan. These are the only things we really care about. Those, once these three are gone, we can take our time with the rest of it. And with the mortar down, I think that's all the main threats. All right, now I just got to make sure I kill this without making those unstable power cells kill us all. Yeah, a little bit of a tricky thing. I might want to do that from around corners or something. Like, it's under, like that one there is just really dodgy. I really do not want to risk being anywhere near that in case it pops. Bit of a tip when dealing with these unstable power cells when you're just trying to destroy these turrets. Use grenades. You start shooting them, the turrets will pop. And uh, what you want to do is you don't want to put a grenade, say, there, because what can happen is it can miss by one tile, which means wherever you're aiming, it could hit anywhere in that circle, so it could hit anywhere around here. So that means it could land in that tile in the top left and kill the unstable power cell, killing you. So instead, you want to aim here. Even if you miss by a bit, the blast radius won't get the, the unstable power cell, so you're pretty safe. Um, this guy, as well as that, we're standing just outside the blast radius. Now, it does mean you're going to miss quite a bit until you actually get the timing done. Oh god, no, don't do that. And what we'll do instead is we'll have our smoker here just smoke us up. That way we don't have to worry about anything shooting at us. And done. Perfect. In that case we can now gain a little bit closer to this one. Oh, and don't push your luck. Smoky here, uh, their mood has actually started to dip precipitously. Uh, I think it's time we left. Yeah. Let's run. 
Oh, what the? How did that even see us? All right, we'll run back home. We'll send some people over to dispose of it. The only reason we wanted to do this so quickly was we wanted to get rid of the spawners. Oh, yeah, I should have been more careful. But now that we've got everyone out of there and back home, uh, we'll send over a more rejuvenated team to take care of it later. Or we would if we had time. Oh, we got it well over the hour already. And I missed that quest, the, uh, the glittering monument. That actually expired four hours ago, and I completely missed it. But we got a new one, Crimson Wreck. That means a Sangophage is going to land with a five thralls or whatever. Yes, I want to capture another one, because what we want to do is actually gene rip as many as possible. We're still missing two vital genetics, Hemogenic and Death Rest. And once we get both of those, we've pretty much got everything we need. I mean, there's a couple of few other ones we would like, but we're close enough that we can actually start putting together some final packages for at least a few of our, ch our kids. But... It's all going to have to wait. Oh, and next up is definitely going to be, we're finishing Cataphract Armour. That's almost done. We just got 450 research to go. Once that's finished, r like, Riot is going to spend all of their, their remaining time just crafting nothing but Cataphract Helmets, Cataphract Armour, and everyone's just going to be dolled up in it. Everyone. Anyway, that will be next. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and good luck. Mm -hmm.